everybody, this is Mirav, and today I'm going to talk to you about the zone manager and adding zones to a Joomla ad agency. So first of all, what are zones? Zones are basically the containers where your ads are going to be displayed, okay? So wherever you have a module position on your template, that's where you can add a zone. So let's say you have a module position here, here on the right, usually on the left as well, at the bottom, sometimes above the main content, all these positions are available for you to place zones in them. Alright, so let's go and see how it looks like. If I go to Managers, Zones, you can see that I have three zones right now. And if you, if you look here under Position, you can see that the first one, left zone, is on sidebar A. The second one, right zone, is sidebar B. And then there's uh, another zone with a red background here, special. As you can see, the reason it's red is because this particular position is not available on the default template that you currently have. So that's very important. If it's red, that means the ads are simply not going to show because this position is not available on your template. Okay? So now let's open one of the zones and see how it looks like from the inside. So we have four tabs. Let's talk about the first one. General is where you enter the title of the zone and it's important to get, give it a very good and descriptive title, not something ambiguous because your potential advertisers are going to see it right here on the packages. So you can see that it says the zone, it says left zone, so that they know a little bit about the zone without even reading all this. They know it's on the left side, okay? So give it a good name. And then you can enter module suffix. Uh, as you know, zones are also modules because as we said, here the, you can place them on any module position and they are actually in fact a module. So you can also have a module suffix for them. You can choose the position where you want it to be. If you don't remember the positions that are available on your template, you can click on View with Positions. And you can see exactly which positions are available for this particular template, and you can choose accordingly. Okay, the next one is whether you want it published or not. Uh, do you want to show this title, yes or not? This is the title. Padding is for uh, some space between the zone and the rest. Now, do you want to show advertise here links? You have a few options here. Now let's see how it looks like on the front end. Here it's when the advertise here link is showing here at the bottom, right? But you can also choose to show it at the top or both at the top and the bottom if the zone is very big. Okay? Or you can choose to not show it. It's up to you. Now if you're going to show it, then you can choose where do you want to link this link to. You can link it to the overview page. You can link it to the list of packages, you can link it to the advertiser registration page or the URL. Any URL that you want really. Okay, here on the right side you can choose on which uh, menu items or pages this zone is going to show. Right now you can see only one page is chosen alright, so, but you can also make it go to and show on all the pages, so it's up to you. Let's click on Add Details. This is very important, this one. Um, here on top you see Inventory Zone. This is uh, related to a new package that we created called Inventory, Inventory and see, please see a tutorial about that. Under that, Display Ads ad based on keywords. Now, if you check it to say yes, then what it means is that the ads are going to show only if the keywords are similar to what the page is displaying. So let's say if the page has dog, dog foods on the title and the banner also has dogs or at least one word similar, then this ad is going to show. So you have to have a special zone with display ads based on keywords checked yes in order to use the keyword targeting feature. So here it's asking you how many ads do you want to show? One row and one column is by default or you can have two rows and two columns that's going to have four total of ads uh, choose as much as much as you want here now here's 
the most important thing about the zone editing is where you specify which supported which ed, ed types are supported. So right now, as you can see, this uh, ed type is supported, which is text ed. Okay, but you can change it to whatever you want. As long as you don't have any banners as assigned to the zone, you can still make this change. Okay, I'm going to leave it as text ads. Um, you can specify, now this is applying to the banners, right? If the ad, if the, if you choose this banner, standard, affiliate, ad and flash, you can specify a certain size so that advertisers can't mess up your um, your layout. So let's say you want to specify by 125 by 125 then it's only going to allow them to use uh, banners in this size. You can also make it any size if you wish but I don't recommend it. I recommend to restrict it. Now if you choose text ads then it's going to show you a few new uh, fields here like what's the maximum size of an image if you want to have uh, an image in the text ad and you can go by width or by height, the image alignment, whether you want it to be on the top, on the left, or on the right, and then also whether you want to wrap the text around the image or not. Here uh, is where you can specify a default ad, it's completely optional, but if you want to do that it will take one of the ads we choose here and use that as a default if, if no campaigns are assigned to this zone. Now here it's asking you whether you want to rotate the banners, yes or no. Um, that means that it's going to rotate the banners on the page without you having to refresh the page. And it's up to you whether you want to do it. I don't recommend doing that because it does slow down your server. It's, it makes a lot, of call to the, a lot of calls to the server and it can be pretty heavy. So I would say no to this one unless you really, really need it. And if you want to choose rotation, then what uh, milliseconds, how often do you want to rotate the ads? Here, randomize is actually a good idea, which means it's not going to take the first ad and show it, it's actually going to rotate between all the ads that are appropriate for this zone and it will show them randomly. So that's a good idea to, to have. Here on the embed tab, you can choose, you can actually copy and paste this code into any site. It doesn't even have to be Joomla and it's going to show the ads that are assigned to this zone. All right. Now if you have another Joomla site that's where you want to place your ads, this uh, zone's ads, then you install the remote uh, module that we give you with the package and there you can specify this URL and this ID. Content is actually pretty simple if you go, let's take a look at the module here, and you can see that this is the zone or the module, and you can have some text showing up here under the title or down here. And this is the text you can enter here. Okay? And you can specify who can see this text only advertisers or anyone, and you can specify the location, whether it's below the edge or above the edge. So, this is it about. Uh, the ad agency zone manager and how to add uh, zones. Thanks for watching.